Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create security groups in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. Common networks have hundreds to thousands of users and large numbers of network resources such as files, folders and printers. The process of granting access to these resources based on user accounts would be time consuming, error prone and repetitive. That's why there are groups in Active Directory. Simply put, you can create a group within Active Directory and grant or deny access to this single entity. Then, you can add user accounts as members of the group. Belonging to the group, the user accounts inherit the permissions assigned to the group. It is much simpler to modify the permissions once on a group object than many times on the users. By using groups, you can grant multiple users the same permission level for resources on the network. For example, you have 25 users in the graphics department who need access to the color printer. You can either assign each user the appropriate permissions for the printer or you can create a group containing the 25 users and assign the appropriate permissions to the group. When users need access to the printer, you can add them to the existing group. Once added, the user receives all permissions assigned to this group. Similarly, you can remove users from the group when you want to revoke their access to the printer. You need to make only one change to modify the level of access to the printer for all the users. Changing the group's permissions changes the permission level for all group members. Without the group, you need to modify all 25 user accounts individually. Working with groups instead of with individual users helps you simplify network maintenance and administration. The process of creating and managing groups is straightforward. As with users and computers, you can use Active Directory users and computers, the Active Directory Administrative Center or Windows PowerShell to perform all group management tasks. To create a group, you must be a member of the account operators, domain admins or enterprise admins group by default. From the server manager's tools menu, select Active Directory users and computers. Right click the domain or other container in which you want to create a group. We will create a group under India Marketing Users OU. Right click the India Marketing Users OU, point to new and then click group. In the name box, type the name for your group. The group name pre-Windows 2000 auto completes. Specify the group type. Active Directory has two types of groups, security group and distribution group. You can use security groups to assign permissions to shared resources. They can also be used for distribution purposes. These group types have security information such as unique security identifier assigned to them. You can use distribution groups for distribution purposes such as email list. Since these groups do not have SIDs assigned to them, we cannot use these groups to assign permissions to resources. And that is the reason why group type is always selected to security. Next, we have group scope. The group scope controls which objects the group can contain, limiting the objects to the same domain or permitting objects from remote domains as well, and also controls the location in the domain or forest where the group can be used. Group scopes Available in an Active Directory domain include domain local groups, global groups, and universal groups. You use domain local groups to assign permissions to resources in the same domain as a domain local group. Domain local groups can make permission assignment and maintenance easier to manage. You can use global groups to grant or deny permissions to any resources located in any domain in the forest. 
you accomplish this by adding the global group as a member of the domain local group that has a desired permissions universal groups can include users and groups from any domain in the multi domain forest and can be employed to grant permissions to any resources in the forest microsoft defines two based practice models for active directory architecture agdlp and agudlp agdlp means account global and domain local permission agudlp means account global universal and domain local permission for single domain active directory forest any group scope can do the work you can choose between domain local or global to keep this thing simple and straightforward by default global group scope and security group type will be always selected and we will go with that a group scope will be global and group type will be security let's click on okay to create new security group we can confirm that new global security group has been created successfully let's see how we can assign permission on the shared folder using the security group on server manager click on file and storage services click on shares click on task and select new share make sure smb share quick profile is selected click next choose type a custom path option and click on browse to select the local folder which you want to share for this i have created one folder named marketing data on c drive select the folder and click next click next click next again click on customize permission to set up ntfs permissions first i'm going to disable inheritance click on disable inheritance click on convert inherited permissions into explicit permission on this object remove both users permission entries to add new permission entries we need to click on add click on select a principal link you can type a group name and click on check names to verify it you can also click on advance click on find now to get the list of all the groups available in your active directory let's select a group in marketing users click okay click okay again we are going to assign modify level permission so let me select the check box modify click okay click apply and okay click next click on create we can see the confirmation message that the share folder was created successfully click on close here we can also see the shared folder name marketing data on our domain controller we have assigned modify permission to all users who are member of the in marketing users group let's see the permission and group membership in action go to windows 10 computer this computer is joined to our active directory domain msft webcast let's log into this computer using the account of josmith open run menu type unc path ws2022 hyphen dc01 and press enter key to access the shared folders on our domain controller try to access marketing data folder Let's double click on it the user cannot access the shared folder as we have given the permission to only members of the in marketing users group and this user jos is not member of that group so to assign a permission to jos now we have two options use jos user account and assign the permission directly on the shared folder or we can add users account into the group and make jos as a member of that group this will indirectly assign modify permission to our user jos smith so which is the best solution to assign permission to jos for single user it won't make any difference but for large number of users the second option is the best solution so let's add a user account jos smith to the group go back to our domain controller in active directory users and computers right click the group and select properties click on members tab on the members tab click on add 
type Joss and click on check names. Joss Smith is populated. Click OK. Click on apply. Confirm Joss Smith is now listed as a member of the group. Click OK to close the properties dialog box. Now Joss Smith is member of the group and should be able to access the shared folder name marketing data. Let's check that. Go back to our Windows 10 computer. Click on close. Try to access the shared folder again. Let's double click on marketing data. And still, Joss is not able to access the shared folder even if he is now member of the group and group has modified permission on the shared folder. Let me close it. The question is why still Joss is not able to access this shared folder? Before we added Joss to the group, Joss was already logged in to this Windows 10 computer. This is the reason why Joss is not able to access this shared folder even if he is a member of that security group. When user logs on to Active Directory, an access token is created that identifies the user and all the user's group memberships. Domain controller use this access token to verify a user's permissions when the user attempts to access a local or network resources. So when we logged in to this Windows 10 computer, Joss was not the member of that group. So in his token, group membership information is not included and that's why Joss still can't access this shared folder. Simply, we need the updated token with latest group membership information to access this shared folder. Let me close this. Let's sign out from this computer and sign in again. Now, let's again try to access the shared folder from our domain controller. Let's double click on marketing data folder and this time Without any issue, Joss can access the shared folder and create a new folder under the root folder. Why? Cause Joss has the new token with updated group membership information. Since we have given marketing users modify permission on the marketing data shared folder and Joss is member of that group, Joss is getting modify level permission on this shared folder. Keep in mind that if you add or remove user or group, the effect of that action will comes into effect when the user sign in next time. You won't see any difference of those actions while user is already logged in. Let's go back to our domain controller. There is another way to add or remove user from the group. You can also add user from users properties page. Right click the user and select properties. Click on member of tab. Click on add. And a desired group name. Click on check names in marketing users. Click OK. Click on apply. Confirm Robert Partition is now member of the group. Click OK to close the properties dialog box. Let's double click on our security group. Go to members tab. We can confirm with Josh. Now Robert Partition is also member of in marketing users security group. Just like any other AD objects, we can easily rename, move or delete the groups. To delete an existing group, right click the group and select a delete. Click yes if you want to delete the group. Let me click on no. To move an existing group, right click the group and select move. Select the destination OU where you want to store this group and click on OK. For example, let's save under India OU. Click OK. Confirm that group is successfully moved to India OU. Let's again right click on it, select move, expand India, select India marketing users OU. To rename an existing group, right click the group and select a rename. Type a new name for this group and hit enter. New dialog box will ask for group name for pre Windows 2000. When you're ready, click OK. The group has been renamed successfully. In this video, we have learned the steps to create and manage groups in Active Directory. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. 
Have a nice day.